Hi, welcome to my log logistics pipes tutorial. Um, so, first off, you always need a wrench. A wrench is a starting material, and yes. And if I sound, yeah, um, if I sound weird, that's because I have a sore throat, so don't mind. Um, let's get a. Uh, okay, first one, we're gonna place a chest. I'm gonna talk about the provider pipe. Okay. So what the provider pipe does, um, it gives the system access to the chest is locked on. As you can see here, it's just normal inventory, so it just can take stuff out of it, whatever is in there. So if you put a cobblestone in, the system knows they can get a cobblestone here. Okay. Next pipe is going to be the the request pipe what you can do on here is request stuff you get a nice um, nice gear here and um, if you place stuff in it like let's take two wooden planks you place it in here and because we have the provider pipe hooked up here uh, we can uh, access it through the whole system and this is a request pipe so we can request the items like that and boom and it just pulls it out and shoots us out but when we place a chest here and we request it and it will just get shot in into here but the system is so fast that you almost can't see even things flying okay um, next Next pipe. Next pipe is um, the supplier pipe. Yes. When supply pipes hook it up like this, we can say like um, items to keep stock. Um, if you get like, let's get some more wood. Let's just take it all. Um, let's say we want the system to keep three wood stocked. It will check if the chest has three wood in it, and um, but there you can't get any wood from somewhere else, so you get it from. It will just stay so. But when this provider pipe provides the wood this chest needs, it will just send them in there like this. Or uh, add a piece of wood. It will. Why isn't this working? That is weird. It should work like this. Oh, it's pulled out already. I'm <laughs> sorry. You see, it will will get pulled out into that chest. Like if I put another one in, it should get pumped out soon. You see, and I'll try to see the next one. How fast it goes. Um, it's best already. <laughs> but now. It sees that it already got three wood in it. So, if I place a wood in there, it won't send it to there because the system already knows that there's enough wood and won't st send any more. If I place another wood in here, it will send it in there. And. Yes, there it goes. It's all in this chest now. So, next pipe. I'm going to talk about probably the crafting logistic pipe. Uh, this pipe can be hooked up, just so, and we can get an automatic crafting table. You probably already know the automatic crafting table. And now we can say like, like the sticks, right? But now we can go to. It's a request. Uh, oops, I think. Crafting, yes, that one. <laughs> I placed wrong. You get like this. This is the inputs, what you uh, throw in the, the crafting table, and this is what's coming out. Now we can say, like, if you get two wood in it, um, we get four wood out of it. But we can also just press import, and it will just get it in. Yes. 
So, if you now say like, make sure we've got enough wood in here, it will, and we need like four sticks, it will send the wood over there, craft sticks, and place it in this chest. It's just so fast, fast that it already did it, but yeah, it's really useful. Like, yeah, let's um, add another one. New crafting, new crafting table, and then we get in there and say like we want to make our wound gear. And then we press import, and boom, it's in. If you not press it, make sure there's enough wood. <laughs> let's place some more in here, and we can request our wound gear. It will first make the the sticks in here and then create the wood and there it is now it won't take the items out of this because there is the provider pipe hooked up it's only an, an uh, supply pipe hooked up and you can also use like stone transport pipes to uh, connect uh, your system to other pieces like we can do it like this and just and just um, and make an uh, automatic crafting table over here to make something else so that will just work but the only problem is look we got an intersection here right now I'm going to make something like this uh, okay let's say I'm making this you see this intersection here it goes in three ways now the items don't know what direction they need to go until it just go in another chest and just land up in here and the item won't be crafted. So what we need here is a basic logistic pipe. Let's get one. Now the system knows where to go and it will just work. But make sure you always have a basic logistic pipe in the in the intersections. Okay, welcome back. Um as you can see here I have some things set up. So electric furnace and um, it's powered by some solar panels and now we get some let's get some iron and we want to get some refined iron for our um, let's say for electric circuit um, we can just put it in there and just wait but we can also implement it to the system we can just use a crafting pipe for it so let's place a crafting pipe here place a stone pipe here as you can see the crafting pipe goes in the slot where it go where this thing goes and oops wrong side now we can place this one here and as you can and now if we place a chassis pipe Logistic chassis. You've multi multiple mark uh, mark chassis pipes, but we just start with one. And you can see when you right click, there's a place for a module. I got the extraction module here, so I placed in. Now it will just try to get the items from the from the thing next to it. Like that's the extraction module. There's also quick start module and and some others, but um now the system if it inputs an iron it should get a refined iron back so let's just cook and refined iron and there it is and now just place this now it thinks if it puts an iron ingot in it gets a refined iron back which is actually right but when it puts it in, and you don't have to chest your pipe, it will just let it in there and thinks it ha it got the refined iron, but it doesn't. So make sure there's like an a chest pipe connecting in with the extractor module in. And now we can just hook it up, hook it up to the to the system. I'm going to oh misclick and from here 
And there's an intersection here, so I'm going to get rid of it by placing a basic logistic pipe. And now it works. And if we just place this right here. And hook it up to this one. Like that. You see now the system is connected. And when we place an iron ingot in a providing pipe or multiple iron ingots and we press go to the request it says we got five iron ingots and zero refined iron when it says zero it means that you can craft it because you learned it to the system so if you now order one it just sends an iron ingot to the system and as you can see it's getting cooked it's getting sent back into the chest and there's our refined iron and you can do loads of stuff with it you can use it to uh, hook up some mesh fabricators or make your a gigantic wall of automatic crafting tables I had it once um, with the world and if you go here and go to the craft I had like like 10 not 10 6 pages full of stuff I learned through the system so it can um, so it uh, it was so easy to craft everything I learned almost every item I can come up with it just pipes I really recommend you using it it's also in the Technic pack which I'm currently using and I'm going to show you one more thing what you can do with it it's almost the same idea like this but just a bit different with some uh, red power some red power um, machines and uh, be right back I'm back and as you can see here I got a deep player hooked up to a timer and it's going in a let's say an infinite water pool now we need some of these water cells as you can see when you use to uh, to water it gets a water cell so if you place a crafting pipe onto this and if you tell it if you give us a empty cell you will get a water cell back one water cell sorry and uh, now if it gets some water cell it will just deploy it and get a water cell back so if you now just hook this up to the system if I got some stone pipes mm, where are they there they are just hook it up um, where are you going to hook it up and you can also use teleport pipes in the system it's just something really useful while building okay but now uh, it's hooked up and when we go over here, make sure there are some cells in. And now it says water cells. If we give a water cell, we'll just transport it over there and give us a water cell back. Okay. So what we also can do is something like we get a crafting table. Um, that's get it there and we I will add like for tin I need some more I just saw that but we get some cells we can just import them and get some get some more tin I know where it is this time. Okay. Now, if you go to the and add some this thing and add some tin and remove the empty cells, it will know that we don't got any empty cells. So if we send it, we need a water cell. It will say request successful and first make the cell send one in there get it back water cell but the other pops out and that's because it doesn't know where to go 
So for that, we're going to need a basic pipe. Where's the basic logistic pipe? Uh, in there. Basic logistic pipe. Where is he? Oh, there. Okay. Gonna get a basic logistic pipe. Hooked up to the main chest. This is our main chest. Um, yes, like that. And then we can right click it and set it to the default route. So if an item doesn't know where to go, it just goes in here and ends up in this chest. So if you now make some, let's say we want two empty cells and we've got 14 left, so it doesn't know where to go. Now it knows where to go, it should just go back in here, as you can see in the pop up in here. So, and um, I forgot to say the last time, if you got a, a Mark 1 uh, logistic chassis, it got one of these spots. If you have a Mark 2, it got 2, 3, uh, has 3, and 4, has 4. So you can enter mo multiple modules. It just, you probably never need like those, but it's just, yes. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Um, please subscribe and check out my uh, Let's Play. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.